treat. Nearpod recently launched three new updates this year and we're only a month into 2021. I'm pumped to share each of these updates with you and give you a walkthrough of each one. If you're new here, hey there, welcome. My name is Amber Calderon and I lead social media and influencer marketing for two ed tech brands. Can you guess which one one of them is? If you like this video, please be sure to like it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you never miss a future ed tech tip like this. Okay, let's dive into the updates. Activity banks are here. What does that mean for you? Nearpod has created a bank of activities that you can access when you're creating or customizing a lesson, which is going to save you so much time lesson planning. So if you're familiar with our activities, we already have a slew of time to climb, matching pairs, and draw it activities that cover a myriad of subjects. So I can always go to my Nearpod library and access those there. But now, when you're creating or customizing a Nearpod lesson, let's say I'm creating a lesson on landforms. I can go to the right-hand side of my screen, search for landforms, see what different activities pop up, add the lesson that I want into the lesson that I'm creating, and now I'm not starting from scratch. Now I have a base, I can keep it as is, or I can customize it by adding more or tweaking what's already in there. This is going to be a game changer when you're lesson planning and save you so much time. What do you think? Let's dive into the next one. Here's Nearpod's second update. Whiteboarding is here. Now you can launch a whiteboard at any time in your Nearpod lesson and students can see what you're writing on your whiteboard. This is going to be great for teacher modeling, responding to misconceptions, or quick amendments to your lesson that you want to share out to everybody without having to edit that Nearpod lesson and then generate a new code. So it's going to be a really flexible tool that's going to enhance that teaching experience. I'm going to show you how it works, so let's look at my screen. When you're in your library, you're going to launch a live lesson. And then on the upper right hand side of your teacher screen, you're going to see a button that says open whiteboard. So go ahead and click that button. This is going to open up the whiteboard and you can draw, highlight, type, whatever you want to your students. What you draw, highlight, or type is also going to show up on your student screen in real time. When you're done using the whiteboard, there's gonna be a yellow X, so you're gonna click that to close it out, and then you can continue to resume your lesson. Then, remember, you don't have to just use it this one time, and you can open it at any point throughout your lesson. And the third Nearpod update is teacher annotation. Teachers can now, in a live lesson, annotate on a content slide, and their students will be able to see if the annotation in real time. Wait a minute. You might be listening and thinking, didn't you just talk about whiteboarding and now you're talking about that? It sounds similar. I know. That's why I'm making this video. So whiteboard is going to open up a new whiteboard slide within your lesson that you're going to be able to annotate and then you close it out. Teacher annotation, which is the third update, allows you to annotate over a content slide. So not your virtual realities, not your activities like draw it or time to climb, but think of it like you're reading static slides, okay? This is going to help if say you have a static slide that you want to draw over, highlight because it's a passage and show them something before they move on to the activity. I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do that right now. You're gonna go ahead and start at your home base near Pod Library and launch a live lesson. Once you launch your lesson, go to any static slide that's available for teacher annotation. You're going to see a pencil in the bottom right hand side and click on this and then you'll see you have the ability to annotate. Once you've turned on this feature, a yellow box will appear around the slide and the bottom of the teacher screen. You're going to see the tools that you can annotate. This kind of reminds me of the draw activity. You can draw, highlight, type over the slide and if you want to delete, you just click the trash can. As you annotate on the slide, students are going to see your annotations in real time on their devices. When you're finished annotating, just click the yellow X on the top right hand side of the slide. 
the annotations are going to disappear and when you want to open up it again you just open up another slide click the pencil on the bottom right and rinse and repeat i just shared three nearpod updates with you but it's important to note that activity banks and whiteboarding are available for all license types but teacher annotation is only available for those with a premium plus school or district account so make sure you check with your school to see if you have access to that if you're not one of those users you can still use the other activities activity banks and whiteboarding is pretty cool okay y'all that's it for this video let me know what you thought about it i noticed a lot of content being created for these nearpod updates separately but i just thought it would be great to have one video that talked about all of them the similarities and their differences so if you like this kind of video please do me a favor and like this video it costs nothing to you but means the world to me and don't forget to subscribe to this channel so you never miss a future tutorial like this Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it more than you realize. And I will see you in my next video. Do you have an idea for a Nearpod video I should make? I'm taking suggestions. Comment below. I can't wait to read them. Happy teaching.